I've always found Apple Notes to be a convenient way to capture, collect, store, and organize information. And Apple has never provided a good way of exporting your data in bulk. Hello everyone, my name is Constantine and today I'm going to show you how to export your Apple Notes. This video is basically a follow-up to my 2022 video where I made a little Apple script that exported all the notes in HTML format. Uh, this time, for the last few months, I've been working on a standalone Mac OS app to export Apple Notes. This was my first coding project or app that I have created using Apple's Swift language. This is my first Mac OS or iOS app, and to say it's been a learning curve is kind of an understatement. So I had to drop PDF and RTFD from the list of formats that you can export in. The reason being is exporting PDFs with Swift is downright esoteric. You know, some people say that you need to create a web view and then render it off screen and then render your HTML into the web view and then create a print from that web view and print it into PDF all while hiding that from the user. And that's hard because you can't do that on the background thread, so it has to run on the main UI thread anyway. Some people say to use these old Cocoa libraries. I abandoned PDF and RTFD in favor of actually finishing this project. I was spending so much time, probably a month and a half, trying to figure out PDFs, and if that was going to be the thing that prevented me from finishing, I just had to de-scope it for the time being. So enough about the development. It is open source, and the source code is available on GitHub. Link is in the video description. So without further ado, let's get into how to actually use it. So here we are back over at the Mac. So the first thing you want to do is go to the GitHub of the Apple Notes Exporter, and this is going to be linked in the video description. And you're going to go to the Releases section. So initial working release, finished two weeks ago. You're going to download the zip file named Apple Notes Exporter, not the source code, because you want to be able to run it. Put on Safari. So in your system settings, before you actually run the app, you want to go to System Settings, Privacy and Security, scroll down, Make sure that you're allowing applications from App Store and Identify Developers. Find where you downloaded the Apple Notes Exporter, unzip it. You can either put this in your Applications folder, or you can put it, just run it out of the downloads from where you downloaded it. So you notice when I click it, it says it can't op be open because Apple cannot check it for malicious software. I don't want to pay Apple $100 from that developer account just yet. So you just hit OK. And then back in your privacy and security tab, uh, section of system settings, that's where we were before, you're going to see this new section. Apple Notes Explorer app was blocked from use because it's not from an identified developer. So what you do is you just hit open anyway. Let's say use password. I'm going to use my touch ID. And now we can say can't be scanned, but you can now you can open. So here's the Apple Notes Explorer. You can close out of system settings now. So you're gonna see it's very step by step. So step one is you choose your notes account. I'm going to choose my on my Mac account because I have a series of test notes here. And you can see I also have some folders, advanced and notes. You can choose your output format. You can do HTML, markdown, rich text without images and text. Attachments are saved in a folder that has the same name as the note they're coming from. I'm gonna do HTML just like the previous year's video and I'm gonna go for my on my Mac account. Here you can choose the output file location. So notes and folder structure are preserved in a zip file for portability, select an output file location, you click select over here, and then I'm going to say let's export it to my downloads, because we're working on it there, and I'm just going to leave the default name of Apple Notes. And then once you've got everything ready, now you can just hit export. This shade will come down. Um, right now I don't have any indication of progress. That's something I'm going to add in the future. It is still running on an Apple script back end to actually interact with the Apple Notes app, so it is slow in that regard, especially for getting all these attachments. So for a handful of notes, this actually takes uh, a few minutes. So if you're one of the people that has, you know, hundreds and th even thousands of notes, it, the app will take a while to export them. It will reliably export them, but you will be waiting. This is something I'm going to be working on in the future. So the app is back to normal and we can see an output zip file. So if we click it, your archive utility, so I'm using Kika, uh, might ask you about the encoding, just leave that as UTF-8, or if it's something else, choose UTF-8. Uh, I haven't found a way, good way of forcing the archive to be a certain encoding from within uh, Swift's archiving or zip APIs. So it's done. It's going to extract that. Now when we go into Apple Notes, we will see that we have an advanced folder and a notes folder, which resembles the advanced folder and the notes folder from the actual Apple Notes app. And I open this note, that's an HTML and it has 
the note content. This is where I want to get into one of the limitations with this exporter, the pound sign and the tags, so we have that hashtag. If I go into notes, what you'll actually see is that we have hashtag tags and the hashtag tags, but we only have one of those in there. And the reason being is that actual tags in Apple Notes are completely excluded from the note content. So if I right click this or I control click it, you see convert to text and that remote, that turns it away from yellow into normal text. There, I have not found a way around this. If it is, if you have a note and that is a tag, then it's going to export and it's not going to be included in that content, unfortunately. So let's go to some others. If I go to advanced, we can see image attachment test in HTML. If I open that, we have the title of the note, we have varying formats, uh, and then we have our images in line. And then as well, we have inside there, the things that can't go inline into HTML like a PDF, that is gonna be um, in this folder, which has the same name as the notes, just with attachments at the end. So that's where you'll find your attachments. And likewise with like uh, testing modes, like this is your unordered list, these are list items, this is a table. So it's pretty good at getting the format in native HTML. You can also export into Markdown to then copy those Markdown files into Obsidian. Thanks for watching this video until the end. I hope that my tool has helped you export your Apple Notes. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment with any issues or suggestions, and share this video with your friends that also use a Mac and Apple Notes that can find some utility in the script I made. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.